a look into a book with Balanagendran, an excavation for eternal bliss. Welcome, Vandanam. Namaste, Namaskar, good evening, and welcome to a look into a book, an excavation for eternal bliss on Radio Run of Light of Life. Albeit a cliched beginning, but today 60 minutes are not going to be cliched are not going to be unicellular it's going to be multicellular as we are entering into the last sphere of this phenomenal 2014 and as we have entered into the last hunt of treasure in 2014 just one day three hours left in 2014 hence today a look into a book and excavation for eternal bliss will be an excavations for eternal bliss this is not a treasure hunt today it is gonna be treasure hunts multiple hunts in a single show nowhere but only on radio run it is only possible on the master of infotainment radio run of light of life join us to celebrate and bid adieu to the fantastic 2014 and to welcome the sensational 2015 from 10 onwards tomorrow via Skype and on air through special transmission. You can also join us through website www.radiodan.com R-A-D-I-O-U-D-A-A-N dot C-O-M Join us in Facebook and Twitter and also Skype me instantly now. I am on Skype. Interact with me. Here is my question. First question ever in a look into a book. Name the book released in 2014 that talks about a blind character from France joining in the crime of World War II. I repeat, name the book which describes a blind character. That's a blind woman character. This is the clue from France joining with the detective in acting towards World War II. It may be on World War II or post World War II. This is the only clue book released in 2014 that has become a blockbuster book. So Skype me, what's that book? I'll read your name and your answer on air. We are going to see today, as I have said, multiple hunts in a single show. The first of its kind 
is going to be from India. We are going to begin our hunts from India itself. Not through the best selling book. What we are going to speak are not the best selling books. The authors were not considered as the international best sellers, albeit they deserve to be so. The book has since received the blockbuster or what we call as the golden title by occupying the top of the ladder in any magazine as a best selling book. Then what we are going to discuss is the most controversial books published in India. Eight most controversial books. 2014 special. This is my actualization under the research that I've done before coming on air. It might have a different perception. I welcome your perception. Skype me. What are the books and authors that you consider are more controversial to India? What are the books that you consider that are published, banned or even terminated from export or import in India according to you? Why? You publish your answers to me, I will distribute it on air. Let's begin a look into a book. An excavations for eternal bliss. Multiple hunts in a single show. New Year special. Radio Udan Convention 2015. Maksad, you will meet you. Radio Udan Convention 2015. Where will poetry, play, singing, presentation and much more. So what are you waiting for? Jaldi se register kare hamari website www.radioudan.com par aur bane part 2015 Radio Udan Convention ka. Kabhi mahek ki tarah हम गुलों से उड़ते हैं कभी धुएं की तरह पर्वतों से उड़ते हैं ये पैचियां हमें उड़ने से खाक रोकेंगी कि हम परों से नहीं हौसलों से उड़ते हैं जी हां दोस्तों आप भी जुड़ जाइए हमारे साथ अपने ख्वाबों की उड़ान लिए अपनी कल्पनाओं की उड़ान लिए अपनी ख्वाहिशात की उड़ान लिए लॉग ऑन कीजिए www.radioudan.com और चलिए हमारे साथ एक कभी न खत्म होने वाले सफर पर जिसका नाम है रेडियो उड़ान A look into a book with Balanagendran, an excavation for eternal bliss. Eight most controversial books published in India. It's not about 2014, but from the repository 
which we have forgotten we are going to dig down to find the reasons for which the books are withdrawn or either banned are either terminated from being exported or imported so let's go eighth book eighth most controversial book eighth book is Rangila Rasul published by Rajpal in undivided India exactly in Lahore in the year 1924 the author seems an anonymous Bengali writer whose name is in controversy not only his book but his name as well some people call him Chamupati few call him Krishan Prashad Pratap the person or the author has written about Prophet Muhammad and his life especially his sexual connection with women many other books have emerged many authors have spoken about Prophet Muhammad many books have claimed that he has turned or created Islam when he was 40 all things finally confluences into Rangila Rasul because that's where the author speaks about the way burqa system or wearing hail in the face has begun and the marital practice of the 40 year old Muhammad with a 7 year old Rangila Rangila Rasul book has been put into judicial review that led to the creation of a new penal code IPC 295A which still haunts the publishers of India even that has created controversy while the book of Wendy Donija has been withdrawn the IPC 295A withdrawn in the year 1927 because of Rangela Rasul in 1929 the publisher Rajpal has been acquitted the government the then British government doesn't want to take this issue further however the believers of Prophet Muhammad planned and finally on April 6th 1929 Rajpal the publisher has been stabbed to death seventh most controversial the book's title is the land of the lingam we know what lingam meant for the land of the lingam if we consider the last book is anti-islamic this book is consider considered as anti-hinduism written by Arthur Miles the book received wide range of criticism because it focuses towards infamous caste discriminations the book focused entirely on Hinduism and the book talks about fallacia we know what is fallacia fallacia is nothing but sexuality masculine sexuality to be in particular land of the lingam also talks about India and the book is considered 
to be discriminatory and shows some sort of Western missionaries and their supremacy that want to dominate the East. Hence, the book has been banned in India and even prohibited from being imported. You cannot import the book. Sixth, sixth controversial book published and perhaps pulled off. One thing I would like to mention here, according to the sources through which I have researched, this book is what considered as Ramayana in the West. This is what the amusement that India and the Orthodox Hindus are considering the book titled Rama retold there were many creations the creations are keep on arousing erupting the positive or negative feelings about Hinduism through recreating or redescribing the epic character Ram of the epic Ramayana the book written by Aubrey Menon, the author born in London in 1912 and stayed back in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala. The book released in the year 1934 attracted wide range of criticisms. In the West, as I said earlier, the book is considered as Ramayana because the book is satirical or Brimanen is known for his satirist he himself is known for being a satirist and the way he portrayed the character Ram seems funny according to Indian context hence the book is banned Most controversial book published in India is The Jewel in the Lotus. The Jewel in the Lotus, probably we may consider, or some of you might have guessed, that the book is something anti BJP because of being Lotus. But the exact thing is no. The definite answer is the book is written by the author in the pen name of Alan Edwards but his real name stands anonymous. The book talks about the Middle East, the Oriental Erotica and it created a outrageous reaction, outrageous reaction from the West because it attacks Christian missionaries and their invasion into Middle East and also speaks about the sexual invasion of the missionaries in the most explicit tone hence in India being the country known for its secularism in the world the book received nothing but banned you cannot even import anywhere, especially in West, this book. The Jewel in the Lotus is a hidden treasure. Out of eight most controversial books we have seen, the last four 
What are the first four? Which occupies the top spot? Let's stay tuned with Radio Run and with me. I look into a book, an excavation for eternal bliss. जी हाँ दोस्तों मेरे यानी कि अपने दोस्त आरजे श्याम के साथ चलिए टेक्नोलॉजी के सफर टेक सिटी पर जहाँ होंगी बातें मोबाइल्स की और होंगी बातें कंप्यूटर्स की तो मेरे यानी कि अपने दोस्त आरजे श्याम के साथ सुनना ना भूलिएगा हर बुधवार रात आठ बजे रेडियो उड़ान पर टेक सिटी मधुर और चटपटा संगीत सिर्फ रेडियो उड़ान पर फिल्मी गपशप सिर्फ रेडियो उड़ान पर खेल और समाचारों की बातें रेडियो उड़ान पर दोस्तों समसामायिक विषयों पर चर्चा और परिचर्चा और डिबेट के हमारे प्रोग्राम इन थाक्षरी से लेकर और न जाने क्या क्या अरे सिर्फ रेडियो उड़ान पर दोस्तों और कहा जी हाँ आपका ये नया रेडियो स्टेशन रेडियो उड़ान लेकर आया है आपके लिए कंप्लीट प्रोग्राम बुनेंजा हमारी वेबसाइट का पता है www.radioudan.com तो सुनते रहिएगा रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान A look into a book with Balanagendran, an excavation for eternal bliss. And I've forgotten to say, I apologize for the inconvenience. We have received the reply to the question from one of the well wishes of Radio Dan and the versatile participant, Bikram Aditya Behra. Thank you, Bikram bro, for your answer. It's surprising to see you listening. Well, the fourth most controversial book, probably. Few of you might have heard this. If you haven't heard about this, this book will surely kindle your interest. It will grab your neck and pull towards the source through which you can find the book because of the content of the book. What's that? The author, I can give you the clue. It's written by none other than the controversial Salman Rushdie if you had guessed the satanic verses satanic verses by Salman Rushdie I feel you are not right because the answer is the most last sigh Moore's Last Sigh is the book written by Salman Rushdie. It has received perhaps a parliamentary ban. Even the ministry publicly condemned. The ministry of the former, the late Prime Minister Narasimha Rao has condemned this book publicly. Again, the fortunate thing and the part of the fervent readers as well as on the part of Salman Rushdie is that the ban on the book has been withdrawn or struck down in the year 1996 what is that much controversy in that book the most last sigh the character of the book depicts 
Bala Sahib Thakre. First thing, the famous leader, the maverick Marathian leader, Bala Sahib Thakre, has been portrayed in the character. Second thing, this is where your interest will be kindled. Because the dog is there in the book. I mean, the dog plays the role as a character. Or the author has given a characteristic to the dog. The name of the dog is the name of the first Prime Minister of India. This is where the Ministry of the then Prime Minister in the year 1991, P.V. Narasimha Rao, has gone to the limits and banned the book with public condemnation. In the year 1996, the book has been released from being banned in India. Third book, Hindu Heaven. Written by Max Willey, the author, the teacher, and the player of the show, playing none in Lahore, Max Willey has portrayed the interest of Christian missionaries on India. What are the things that they have done to penetrate their principles, ideologies, their theosophical thoughts? What are the means through which the land that has been considered as a land of Hindu has been under the missionaries. We have seen, we know the history after the invasion of the British, as soon as the colonization began, things have begun to break down into pieces even the famous historian Bipin Chandra mentioned in his book India after independence while talking about annexation of the states and while specifically focusing towards Northeast he said I quote that the Britishers called the tribes as savage their protest against the Britain rule as savage attack of terrorism however indirectly they have sent their religious missionaries into the Northeast region to turn them and to isolate them and to make them feel estranged from the Union province of India this is how Bipin Chandra reflected but the same reflection created controversy due to the rage put in by Max Willey from Lahore which led to the book to be banned in India. Second top class controversial book. The most controversial book, rank 2, according to me, is The Scented Garden, C-E-N-T-E-D, Scented. The Scented Garden, it's nothing but an anthropological study about the sexual exploitations in the Levant. We've heard the term Levant frequently. We've been listening with the help of Islamic State terrorism because Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant is what their full name ISIL the book also speaks about the sexual exploitation in the Middle East the way women are treated in Iraq Afghanistan Saudi Arabia Turkey it also speaks more explicitly about same sexual relationship because of the tone the eroticism besides all 
it received the global connotation as the lethal sexual portrayal led to the banning of the book you cannot even find anywhere in india now it is the same to the most last sigh because though the book has been acquitted from being banned you cannot find the book from any publisher in india the same goes to the scented garden an anthropological study of the sexual life at the levant what is the number one book which is the number one book that attracted me to be ranked as a number one book the number one most controversial book published in india stay tuned to radio dan to listen which is that number one book in a look into a book an excavation for eternal bliss new year special multiple hands in a single show फिल्मी सितारों के कुछ खास लम्हात कुछ खास जज्बात सुनिए उनकी निजी जिंदगी की लव स्टोरी और वॉर की पूरी कहानी हमारे इस खास कार्यक्रम में जिसका नाम है लम्हे लम्हे कुछ खट्टे खट्टे कुछ मीठे मीठे हर बुधवार रात 9 से 10 मेरे यानी आर जे सुशील के साथ सिर्फ रेडियो उड़ान पर एक मंच जहां मिलती है महत्वपूर्ण जानकारियां सवाल हो और जवाब दूं एक मंच जहां होते हैं हंसी और ठहाके एक मंच जहाँ होती हैं चर्चाएं दूसरी वाली आपको नहीं समर्पित करूंगा कीजिए बड़े स्पोर्टिंग आप पहले सुन लीजिए उसके बाद कहिएगा आपको चाहिए समर्पण कि नहीं चाहिए एक मंच जहाँ मिलेगा लोकप्रिय संगीत और इन सब के बीच एक ऐसा मंच जहाँ मिलता है सब कुछ लॉग ऑन कीजिए www.radioran.com और जुड़ जाइए हमारे साथ अ लुक इन टू अ बुक विद बाला नागेंद्र एन एक्सक्रवेशन फॉर इटर्नल ब्लेस Welcome back friends it's very good to know that Poland is listening from Halinka ma'am welcome ma'am after a long time this is really a new year special well which is that book that occupies number 1 it's always good to occupy first rank either be a controversial thing or a crystal clear one let it be the good book in terms of controversy the good book in terms of controversy and the good book in terms of higher amount of opposition not only in india but also in canada south africa and almost in all the democratic countries i guess there is no ban of that book in united kingdom except that the author 
is an Indian. Undoubtedly, the author is an Indian. Even the Arab world, especially the Middle East, after the publication of this book, issued a bounty for him. Bounty for his head. You have got it. It's none other than Salman Rushdie. It's good to know that Salman Rushdie occupied twice in top 8. His creation, the Satanic Verses. The Satanic Verses is the most controversial book published in India till date. It has received broad criticism because of the way he portrayed which led to the Islamic community leaders to protest and to call the book as blasphemous because the book says about the resurrection of two people from a flight crash one became a great actor another one has been torn down and broken into pieces. That's where he has portrayed racial discriminations, religious discriminations, which created, which made the Islamic community outrageous by considering freedom of religion free to profess, concise, and follow the religion the book has been banned in India in South Africa we have listened from one person who said we the Muslims especially the Muslims who have been the migrants to South Africa have no right to vote but when we proposed to ban this book and to ban the author from coming or entering into the territory of South Africa, the government of South Africa cordially accepted. The book has been banned. The author has been refused to enter into the territory. Same thing has happened in India in film festival and the literary fair Salman Rushdie has been invited but the bounty fixed by the Arab world and the criticism that he received from Indian Muslim community leaders made him to stay in London Satanic Verses is the most controversial book Well, it's time for us to see the best-selling books of 2014. As we have witnessed the eight most controversial books published in India, we are going to see some of the best-selling books released or published in the year 2014. The books are occupying the top list. The books are at the spotlight, not only in India but all over the world. Not only written by Indians but authors from various walks of life from Elizabeth Covert to Gary Christ from Chetan Bhagat to Naomi Taylor things have been widened in 2014 surely 2014 missed Dan Brown and his immaculate creation Inferno which occupied the top list in 2013 and became the international bestseller in three weeks from the date on which it has been released. But in 2014, we have got some sensational creations, crime fictions, stunning thrillers, 
and the sequel prescriptions of science Words, words, words. Let's see in the ocean of words and explore its origin, meaning, usage, and many other known and unknown facts about it. Let's sail in the world of magical words and travel far with entertainment. To listen, ocean of words. Wednesday from 10 to 11 pm log on www.radioyarn.com Pratima ki pehchan Pragya ki mukaan Sabalango ka saathi ye hai Radio Uraan रेडियो उड़ान के प्रोग्राम्स की जानकारी के लिए शोज में पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए किसी भी शो को फीडबैक देने के लिए आरकाइव रिक्वेस्ट करने के लिए आजे बनने के लिए और अपने फेवरेट आरजेस की प्रोफाइल्स पढ़ने के लिए लॉग ऑन करें www.radioudan.com स्काइप आईडी रेडियो उड़ान ईमेल मेल एट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम रेडियो उड़ान अ फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ अ लुक इनटू अ बुक विद बालानागेंद्र एन एक्सक्यूएशन फॉर इटर्नल ब्लेस Well, friends, last 17 minutes of our hunt in 2014. Let's see some of the best books of 2014. We will surely dig deep down in coming segments, probably from next year onwards. As of now, a brief capture for you. A Brief History of Seven Killings The book written by Marlon James The Jamaican author Who made The entire world of readers To explode With the violence With the characters The book begins With an explosive introduction Of the king's ghettos we know what is meant by ghettos. It talks about the killings, especially the seven killings in the year 1976. The Jamaican rebellion and the Jamaican killing has been the bottom line of the author. In 2014, it occupies the top list of the Washington Post and also in New York Times. Half Girlfriend by Chetan Bhagat Though it hasn't been in the most best-selling characteristics of what Chetan Bhagat is known for 
in 2014 he has emerged again in India and as the first Indian author turned the international bestseller half girlfriend received the mixture of response from his leaders readers a Bihari boy and the way he considers and moves on half girlfriend the title itself takes to another path but Chetan Bhagat as he is known for given us his own stylish way through which we can travel half girlfriend is one of the best in 2014 says Guardian Fourth of July Creek. This is the second top class or second best selling book in the list of Washington Post written by Smith Henderson. Smith Henderson, who portrays about the Northwest and the America which we have never dreamt of looking into, he creates the horror in his words Smith Henderson's creation will be occupying the most coveted position in 2015 says the review of New York Times the narrow road to the deep north no one can forget this book the narrow road to the deep north because the book earned the author the man Booker Prize 2014 Richard Flanagan who has been immaculate in his incisive portrayal of what he wanted to say about Japan and the families that have suffered even Flanagan himself has been one among those that led him to go with swift pace from prologue to epilogue the Booker Prize winner because of no narrow go to the deep north Richard Flanagan earns and certainly deserves to be considered as the blockbuster writer of 2014. The Paying Guest by Sarah Waters. The review says, and I feel, if you begin The Paying Guest and if you start reading Sarah Waters, I'm sure that you will surrender yourself. The result of you reading Sarah Waters is nothing but the entire submission of you. Because she begins from 1922 from London and moves in clarity of thoughts what she is saying why she is saying and to whom she is saying the things mentioned in the paying guests will be delivered to you if you read without a blink of an eye Read this as a form of meditation.
लाल पुरानी हर फिल्म की कहानी सुनिए आज निकिता की जुबानी मैं आपके लिए देख कर आ रही हूँ फिल्मी बाइस को आप सुन रहे हैं रेडियो उड़ा द फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ वर्ल्ड नंबर वन इंटरनेट रेडियो स्टेशन ऑफ इट्स ओन थाइन सुनते रहिए और एंजॉय कीजिए रेडियो उड़ा फाइनली वी हैव एंटर into the last segment of new year special here we are going to see one of the best selling books of 2014 titled station 11 station 11 written by emily st john mandel this genre the genre of the dystopian novel by this author talks about a flu in georgia and the death of arthur leander while playing the role as king and what happens while the flu spreads we can see the footprints of inferno inferno talks about plague and it also speaks about what genetic engineering could do what are the damages that can happen if the process of genetic engineering is caught by the militia the same but in a different way expressed by station 11 being mortal the last hunt of today being mortal written by atul gawan atul gawan himself a surgeon this book stands non fiction and related to health issues surely at the time of deadliest diseases like ebola is sweeping the world while the entire universe is getting crumbled at the hands of high flying hiv this book need to be read to make our life to live beyond mortality we need to be aware of what our body and mind needs the author atul says the same what your body and mind needs has to be given let's hope that we will get this book to read the book is under the security we cannot get this except through import beyond mortal being mortal a medicinal study will surely be a gift of 2014 Radio Udan Convention 2015 रेडियो उड़ान कन्वेंशन 2015 
जहां होंगी पोइट्री प्ले सिंगिंग प्रेजेंटेशन और मच मोर तो वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर जल्दी से रजिस्टर करें हमारी वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम पर और बने पार्ट दो हजार पंद्रह रेडियो उड़ान कन्वेंशन का रेडियो उड़ान लाइव well friends now we have entered into few final minutes of our last look into a book of 2014 i hope this 10 month the journey that we have taken from 9 to 10 on every tuesday would have been the period the moment the minutes of your lifetime i am sure that if you have read at least a minimal amount of the sources that we have rendered here you would have been you would be feeling now that you are sitting on the zenith of your bliss because the show is not to promote the books released provided that you need to excuse today because today is new year special the rest the rest 45 episodes are the episodes that deeply ingrained in my blood the books that i read the books that i cherished the books that i liked the most and i placed in front of you i hope that it could have create given some sort of insights into it i won't say it's bad breaking but i'm sure the books are insightful and it is life turning read it and write to me let's see how things will progress in 2015 Well, it's time for me to read the answer given by Bikram Bro. All lights we cannot see. Exactly the right answer. The book that talks about World War II, and the book has the blind character, a French woman. I'm eagerly waiting to read that book. As soon as I read, it will surely be placed in front of all of you through this treasure hunt show. I look into a book. Till then, meet you next week. next year perhaps stay safe don't forget to participate in our special transmission tomorrow from 10 to 12 pm india time happy new year 2015 let the year be the most progressive year of your life start reading if you haven't take a resolution that you will read something in 2015 i'll meet you all next year in another source in a look into a book to excavate for your eternal bliss till then this is me balanagindran saying good night buenas noches vanakkam a look into a book with balanagindran an excavation for eternal bliss